Hello, hello. Welcome to my brand new Sims 4 gameplay channel, Tabby Sims. I am Tabby, if you don't know, and I'm an original Simmer. Like, I'm a proper millennial, was 12 years old when Sims 1 came out, uh, played Sims 2 for a while, never actually touched Sims 3, and then I got Sims 4 during lockdown when there was nothing else to do, bought myself a gaming laptop, started playing Sims 4, and, and the love, passion, and obsession is back. So I've always watched Sims YouTubers, I've always wanted to be a Sims YouTuber and I've just finally gone to hell with it. Let's let's give it a go. I am going to be starting with a rags to riches challenge because they are my favourite things to watch, they're my favourite challenges to play and I'm going to layer on top of that the all trait, all lot traits challenge as well so I'm going to make it really really hard for myself. So we'll start with no simoleons and we're going to build up to about 500,000, I think that's the goal I'm giving myself. Um, we'll have a few generations in that I imagine. And we're going to start with all of the lot trait challenges on. Now the rules for that is that every time I complete an aspiration level, I will hit a random number, number generator and I can take off one of the lot trait challenges. They make the gameplay a fair bit harder, I would say. Um, eco Lifestyle is my favourite Sims 4 expansion pack, so it's going to be a predominantly Eco Lifestyle Rags to Riches challenge. Without further ado, I'm going to dive right into gameplay. Okay, here we go. This is going to be our starting sim for our Rags to Riches challenge. Her name is Nori Alloway. Uh, because I've been watching The Rings of Power, Nori is the half foot in, in that series. Short for Eleanor, which I'd never heard before and thought was really cute. Um, I've made her an eco-innovator. As I said in the intro, this is going to be a predominantly eco-lifestyle Rags to Riches. She is a freegan, which means she'll get the best bits when we dumpster dive. A green fiend because we're going to do some gardening and she's a maker again that's a big eco lifestyle thing um with my rags to riches challenge i like to style the sims as if they are in rags and then throughout the gameplay um, i'll upgrade her outfit so outfit number one um she's got some ripped jeans on chunky boots um, and this is an eco lifestyle denim top these are from the werewolf pack the werewolf pack actually has some really good stuff for um like rags kind of aesthetic um her nice outfit is going to be this werewolf t-shirt with a shirt over the top and again she's wearing the same boots because she doesn't have a lot so she's going to keep me wearing the same things um this is a paranormal activity dress is it called paranormal activity that pack anyway paranormal um it was like the plainest dress i could find really um this is her workout gear her sleepwear again it's all ripped it's all disheveled um her party gear is the same as her nice everyday look because she didn't have a lot swimwear there wasn't really any other options than just like what they have um her hot weather is the same as one of her everydays because again she has to rewear her clothes she doesn't have a lot but she's got some flip-flops on i'm not going to make her wear those boots in that heat and this is her winter wear outfit so that is Nori. That is all of Nori's. Um, I'll give you a little close-up of her face. Um, I really love those freckles, um, brown eyes, dark hair. This is a custom content hair uh, that I really love. I'll link it in the bio for you. Started a new save game with this challenge, which means I get to pick the season we start playing it. And I'm going to go with summer because... Oh, no, there's thunderstorms though. But there's thunderstorms in spring fall it gets cold okay we're gonna we're gonna start in summer and just hope you know we don't get struck by lightning we are gonna live in evergreen harbor oh i needed to delete this lot hold on one second <laughs> all right here we are in nori's new home it is a concrete lot in between a bunch of porter cabins in a really rundown smoggy area um we've got some dustbins here and here because we're going to dumpster dive um i thought this was the best lot and I, what's really nice about the eco lifestyle pack is that as you perform actions that impact your neighborhood's um eco status status um the neighborhood turns more green and i think this is kind of the dirtiest it can be so i think that looks really good uh, i'm just gonna get rid of all of nori's money because we start on a zero on a rags to riches. First things first, we need to get some monies. We need to start building our home. And we do that 
by diving for deals, but um, nothing spawned yet. So let's see. Is this Mortimer Goff's talking to us? Where is he? Can't see him. But we do need friends. So who's this person? Cletus. Cletus Harris. Let's... Funny introduction to Cletus Harris. He does not like me, does he? I was going to say, I feel like Nori's going to be funny, so I'm going to keep with the funny interactions. But this guy doesn't think she's very funny, does he? Spina. He's Yaba bored, but maybe that's because you're boring, sir. Oh, it's not going well. We should just stop because it's just getting more and more. He's just liking us more and more. Um, have we spawned anything yet? Yes. Okay. Diving for deals is stuff. And then ingredients could be a meal or it could be like seeds, things that we can plant, which um, we will need to make our, our fortune. Come here, Nori. Come here, players. Because at the minute we have zero simoleons and we're in need of some dala dala. Hey, neighbor, do you want to learn how you can make a difference? If you've got a minute, I'd love to chat with you. Yeah, no, I'm not going to chat to you. But, oh, I found a little chair. Uh, that guy, what's he called? Nox. Nox will talk to you about um, the ways you can vote in the Eco Lifestyle Pack and how you can make it a more green environment. But I've already spoken to him. I already know what's coming. Um, a sink will be useful. Oh, we've got some fur. So we do have our next meal. Um, although I bet it's spoil. <laughs> Which... Oh, no, we've got nine hours till it's spoil. That's nice. Um, usually you just have to eat like dirty food from the dumpster in these challenges to start off with. We found a quill fruit. So we can plant that when we um when we get crack in and a charming mushroom. So let's just kind of dive for some more deals, please, Nora. You've got your next meal, so we're fine. Yeah, so here we have Knox telling us all about green initiatives to vote for. Thank you. Um, robot salvage part. The dumpster must have been a wishing well in the previous life because we got nine pimoleons. Um, and this dumpster seems empty now. Come over here and dive for these. So the first couple of days of this challenge are a little bit repetitive. You do find that it's just like, okay, this dumpster. Wait, now this dumpster. Wait, now this dumpster. But um, I do get a buzz out of like what we can find. Oh my God, take your sweet time. There's a bit of a bug at the minute where I can't sell from my inventory, which is a little bit annoying. So I'll have to put it on the floor on our lot and then sell from there because we don't need a robot salvage part at the minute. And then we've got our $9, but that doesn't stretch very far. <laughs> Nori found autonomous breeze prints in the dumpster. Nice. Please, I'm smelly. I'm so smelly. I know, babe. Uh, now Bess is here to tell us all about voting to get rich. But I think we're gonna we're probably going to be green. I found a white dye in the dumpster. Miguel. Great. Now that is a bit useless because you need dyes once you start making your own furniture, but we're just nowhere near that. Um, okay, you come home, Nori, because we got a sink. So I could sort out how dirty you are with this sink. So with Eco Lifestyle, when you find some furniture in the dumpsters, it's like burnt out like this, um, and you actually can't use it if you place it on your lot. Also, when it's in your inventory, it will show for the build and buy price, which is 75 simoleons. So if I sold that now, I'd get 75 simoleons, but it's kind of cheating because if you place it and then pick it up, it's worth nothing. Um, I am not going to sell straight from my inventory because I just think it kind of cheats the game. It kind of defeats the point. Um, what I'll be doing is collecting all of this burnt out kind of like damaged rubbish stuff that we can't use to recycle. Um, and that'll help us make our own furniture. Oh, this print which is a custom print, by the way. It's quite funny because custom items, custom content items do appear in the dumpsters. It's worth 150. I don't think it's damaged because you see how that one is burnt out. I don't think this one's damaged, so we will sell that one. And then I'm just going to take these from her inventory that we're going to sell because we don't need them. Um, but I have to sell them in build and buy mode because of that silly bug. So we've got 90 simoleons and 5 simoleons. So 254. We are not doing bad. Uh, we're going to have to repair this sink before we can use it though. Oh, silly me. I haven't put any of the lot trait challenges on yet. Okay, so um, basically we go into here, lot challenges. Oh, move my face. 
move it a bit further and we select all of the lot traits all of the challenges so we have cursed filthy gremlins this will be a pain this um, breaks all your stuff overnight and you have to repair it which is why we need the handiness skill grody off the grid so we have no power we're gonna have to generate our own power quake zone so there'll be earthquakes reduce and recycles we get a lot of trash simple living we're gonna have to have all of our own ingredients to be able to um, cook on this lot spooky it'll be ghosts and wild foxes will appear um which until we have chickens won't really be an issue but yeah silly me not putting them on straight away they are on now we haven't really got started though so that's fine this household is off the utility grid so objects that require power or water will not work unless those objects are supported off the grid this is not <laughs> <laughs> oh, chuff. So I'm going to just sell that because this isn't an off the grid sink. So it's not going to work even if I repaired it. $88. Great. So we have 342. It's pretty decent. Pretty good. What I'm going to do uh, a little. Is it cheating? I have um, these custom content pieces that are from like a trash custom content pack. And this is um, a mattress for $10 that we can sleep on. There's also um, <laughs> there's also a bucket shower, which is functional off the grid, right? I absolutely love this thing. Um, I can just put that there. And there is, I mean, I don't know if it's going too far, but to start off with, there's like a bucket toilet. So she can just go to the bucket toilet there. Um, I might see about just putting a little wall up to get us going because... Um, you probably don't want to see your own pee pee and poo poo, do you? Eventually, we're going to have like a porter cabin style house. So I'm just going to um, start that wall there. And then we'll put our bucket toilet there and our bucket shower there. And then bed goes on there. Okay, pretty good. We can sleep and we can shower at our own lot. So that's good. No thanks, Bess. We're all right. Um, take a quick and tepid shower. What's wrong here? Gross air. The air feels a little heavier than usual, but industry is booming. I Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Maybe I should put the walls just fully up while we're doing that because she is basically just showering in the open air. I said I was going to do some gardening and obviously this lot is concrete and I kind of want it to look a bit realistic so there'll be little patches that will be like dug up um, so I might just put one here for now. Mm, no because later on when I build an actual building I'll be like why did I do that? We'll just put it oh exactly where I just said okay cool we're gonna put it there <laughs> um, but to make it more realistic, at least in my eyes, we're gonna have the cottage living garden patches as well. There we go. And then that's kind of like sticking out of the concrete, right? You wouldn't just plant on concrete. That wouldn't make any sense. She needs to plant this quill fruit because the quill fruit is worth $48, which will be amazing when we can harvest that. Um, and then she can plant the charming mushroom. So we need to increase our gardening skill as well anyway. Look at our little home, 10 minutes in, <laughs> we're doing really well. Whilst um, Nori has done all of that, oh, she can have another shower. I imagine the um, dumpsters have respawned, so I'll just go check. Yay, dive for deals, dive for deals, dive for ingredients, dive for ingredients. She's not hungry yet, so she doesn't need to eat her fur that we found earlier. Just feel a little bit pointless having her shower when she's about to go dive straight back into a dumpster, but there we are. <laughs> Nori found the Mountain Romance Kitchen Island, but it may be in questionable condition. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do anything with that one. I found a double bed by the looks of it, but we'll not be able to do anything with that. I think it's in the civil designer career. You can, oh, we've run out of things. Oh, but we found a green pea. Um, I think it's in the civil designer career where you can get like a smog machine that restores those items to, um, to proper use. But obviously you've got to get quite far in that career and we're not really going to do a career in this. I think you can also make one on the fabricator machine. So that'll probably be where we get it from. Um, but yeah, it just takes a bit of time. 
Nori found a canary yellow dye. I found a pre, pre, pre sim head. Looks like a fossil in the dumpster. What else have we got, Nor? What else have we got? Oh no, that was, that was it. Dive for deals, dive for deals, dive for ingredients, dive for ingredients. An electronic upgrade part. Okay, I mean, we're not gonna need that right now, so we can sell it, which is good. She's getting hungry, so I'll have her eat her for um, when she's done all this diving. We found a tiny bathtub kitchen sink. Great, but we need a counter to put that on. <laughs> so, oh, got some meat and mash, lovely. Um, now I've remembered that we're off the grid, I'm like, even if we find certain items in the dumpster, we might not be able to use them. Nori found a live blue slug in the dumpster. Check her inventory. Oh, wow. Rare and $300, but I'll have to go back to my lot to sell it. Amazing. Um, oh, we got $6 out of that dustbin. Die for more deals. Nori, oh, that was hot. Sorry, sugar, you okay? I mean, she doesn't look okay, does she? She does not look okay. And the smog in the background looks awful. Oh, Nori, so I'm so sorry. See if we can take a little picture of her like that. <laughs> Just sniffing herself. Oh, gosh. Yeah, babe, it's a hard life. Nori found the programmer's dream in the dumpster. I mean, I don't know what that is, but we won't be able to use it. So, great. Excellent. Thanks for that. We got a tiger frog. Okay, great. Is that rare? Is that going to be worth anything? $35. Not going to turn my nose about it. Thank you very much. Got two simoleons at the bottom of that. Maybe try some ingredients. Oh, she's going to pee herself, I think. But hey, we've all got to make sacrifices, Nori. Got to get this game up and running. I mean, apart from... Oh, a pear. Apart from her bladder and her hygiene, she's actually quite happy. Okay, go on. Go home. Have a wee. That's fine. Oh, it's gonna take us so long to walk home like that. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. With the stench just following you all the way home. Use the toilet. Take a couple of tepid showers. Um, and you are actually quite tired, so you can go to you can go to sleep. What from your inventory can I sell while you're sleeping? So we're gonna sell there. We're gonna sell the frog. We're gonna sell the slug can sell this fossil and these two dyes. Oh, our neighborhood's eco footprint is neutral. Well, considering we did nothing, I uh, don't really know why, but fine by me. Okay, so we're gonna just sell this little haul that Nori got today. $35, $300, $225. So because Nori's a freegan as well, I think she finds the rarest things in the dumpster. That was 120, 80, 10. Nearly a thousand on our first day. I think that's pretty great. I think I thought this quill fruit was something good, but I actually think it's the thing from Strangerville. I don't know that you can harvest that or that it even does anything. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Um we're gonna plant our green pea when we wake up. I mean, she could have a pear tree if she wants. We just have to dig out a bit more mud for her. Dig, 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 dig. Maybe here. There we go. Poor Nori just sleeping on her mattress on pallets. <laughs> and she's hungry. I do think she's got stuff to eat in the old inventory, hasn't she? She has spoiled faux meat and mash. That's fine, that'll do the trick. Oh, she's sad because idle hands, the existential cry sadness of not making something has crept in. So that's because she's a maker and she wants um, to do some fabricating, but we don't have a machine at the minute and it's not our priority. Why has she only just acquired the gardening skill? She should have acquired it for these. Look at how gross oh, this Melanie. food is that I'm making her eat. Even, the, even Nori's like, this is too much. I don't... <laughs> Soz, babes. Soz. But you are very happy in all other respects. So listen, you win some, you lose some. Let's go do some more dumpster diving. And then we're going to spend all this money that we've made. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Dive for ingredients. Dive for ingredients. I want her to find a bike because then she'll move a bit quicker. Because at the minute, she's killing me. Killing me with how slow she is. So I found a sky blue dye. Okay. The voting period is almost over and tech support is in the lead. Oh, I need to vote actually. That's on so, um, my 
what do you call it? That's on my aspirations of things to do. Oh, and I have five community influence points. Okay, don't know how I did that. Um, Nori, let's go home and have you vote because you want to vote on one neighborhood action plan. You've got to have like um, social influence points to vote. I mean, I talked to this guy, Cletus, who doesn't chuff in like us. So I guess I might have some points. Okay, what does Nori want to vote for? So clean energy production. We have the luxury of living in a world that provides us with everything we need. We just need to learn how to harvest the and harness the energy. This tech support one. Have you grown too comfortable with things just the way they are? Don't get caught on your da -da 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 -da. working with those things. You get bonuses no i want green initiatives with this action plan in place we can expect to see not only trees and bushes sprouting but we'll also see port promises eco footprint become more green as well so that'll take all the smog away and make it look like a prettier neighborhood so i'm going to use all of my points on that was that a bit too many points okay i'm going to put it to 10 and then my other two no i don't want it to be that i definitely don't want we wear bags it really annoys me when that's around can we add anything else Oh, self-sufficiency. And then I'll put a couple on that. Cool. I voted. <laughs> and that means I've completed one level of my aspiration. So I get to get rid of... Oh, and I've had a sim do nothing social for 24 hours. I get to get rid of one of the lot challenges, which we've not really been on the lot. So I don't feel like they've particularly hindered us so far. But rules are rules and I get to get rid of one. So let me just... Um, pull up a random number generator. Right, got it. Random number generator, one to 10. Gonna roll it and it's number 10. So that's wild foxes. I get to get rid of the wild foxes, which weren't really gonna be a problem for me anyway. But anyway, that's, that's how we do. Um, I think that is where I'm gonna end this episode. I think that was a pretty successful first episode. We got 938 simoleons. We have a bed, we have a bucket shower and a bucket toilet. Um, we also got rid of a lot challenge, so that will make the game a little bit easier for us going forward. Um, make sure to subscribe so you know when episode two is coming and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching. Bye, bye-bye.